cookie swirl? See? <laughs> cookie fans, today we are going to be layering it up. We're going to be making our very own lip balm. Ooh. But not just any lip balm. This is going to be layered lip balm. So we are just going to be layering and layering on the flavors. <gasps> That's so many flavors. So sweet. Seriously, we are going to be stacking up as many flavors as we can inside of each one of these lip glosses. So this kit should come with everything that we need. I found this at Walmart. So let's see how it works and does it work. What do we have inside? Ooh. Oh, we've got like this tiny little small package. Oh, I am so excited. <gasps> Look at the little containers. Aren't these so cute, these little lip balms? So, of course, they're totally, totally empty. There's no lip balm in them just yet. Here we have our instructions. Whoop. Now, of course, you want to make sure to always read the instructions and have an adult help you as well. So let's get started stacking up the lip balm. We've got our five lip balm containers. Oh, this is so exciting. I cannot wait to create these. We've got our little measuring cup, a spatula. Ooh, our wax chips, which seems like they're a little... There we go. I have to kind of break them up a little bit. They're kind of chunked together. Our wax base. Ooh. And our four different flavors. We've got very berry, tropical fruit, strawberry. Oh, this one's just a lip shimmer. So we really just have three flavors. Okay, now I'm going to use my little scooper. Now I'm gonna scoop out one scoop of wax base. Here we go, one scoop of it into the measuring cup. Hopefully I can get it out of here. It sends about 10 wax chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I need some boiling hot water. And again, if you're doing this project, this is the part you need in a responsible adult to help you with. Now I'm going to place in my wax chips here. And this should melt because it's so warm. I'm going to stir everything together. Melt, melt, melt it up. <gasps> no! I got water in it. Is this enough? Doesn't quite look like there's enough here. So keep stirring until it turns into a liquid. It's kind of clumped to the spoon. Do, 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 do. Is it starting to liquefy? Oh, it is a little bit. Good, it is starting to liquefy. Okay, good. It looks kind of milky in here. Ooh. Okay, I think this is just about ready. See that? So now I just have to pick which flavor I want to add in. So I'm gonna have to try to open this with one hand. So we'll do the very berry. I have to keep this in the water. Open. Careful, hopefully it doesn't spill. Now it says add three to four drops. One, two, come on. Three, four, and mix. Now we'll just pour into our lip balm. Still seems a tiny bit chunky though. So we'll start with this super sweet purple one. Open it up and pour it in. Oh, it's going slow. Oh. I don't think that's enough. Oh, there goes a little chunky part. Oh no, it's like drying. It's not even going down to the bottom. Oh no, it's kind of like just staying here at the top. Okay, I don't think we mixed up enough. Let's just try to press it down in there. Oh no, I don't know about this. I'm just not sure we made enough. So let's scoop even more. See if maybe that makes a difference. Maybe we'll just double the recipe. I just want to create awesome lip balm. Add my little wax chips in. Let's already just add our flavoring in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And put it in the hot water. Is this going to work now? Now we'll mix it up. Ooh, it smells very berry. I can smell that flavor already. Come on, melt. Keep mixing and mixing and mixing. It's like the little chips, the wax chips won't melt. They kind of stay chunky. I can feel the chunkiness in there. So check it out, look at how liquidy it is. But it's still so chunky because of those little wax chips, but maybe they're not supposed to melt all the way. So let's pour this in. Oh no, it's gonna overflow. <gasps> no, no, and let's see, it like won't go down to the bottom. Ew, I have to like push it in there. Go in. This is very, very messy. I don't get how you're supposed to layer the flavors if you're like pressing it in there, but maybe it'll work. This is a lot of lip gloss though. I like that. I was just hoping that it would be more liquidy and easier to get in there than on the tippy top of this one. Then we'll do a different flavor. I think this is the messiest lip gloss I have ever made. Put it all in there. I mean, it's all over my hands. Okay, that looks like it's starting to fill up. So let's scoop in some more. Add it in here. I wonder what would happen if I didn't use the wax chips. Well, I better keep following the instructions. So we'll sprinkle some more wax chips in. Do strawberry flavor. One, two, three, four. Place in my boiling hot water and stir. Okay, again, it's starting to melt except for those wax chips. I wonder if the lip gloss wouldn't harden if I didn't use them. I'm 
very tempted to though. Cause look at that, it gets it all nice and soft except for those chips. Break apart! Now let's add to the top of our lip balm. Should pour in. Wax chips, why? Push it in there. Well, there we go. I think that's the best we're gonna be able to do. Kinda clean it off. And we'll put the cap on this one so our so super sweet is completed. Gonna mix up more of that base and create more strawberry. One, two, three, four. And mix. So let's do like a tropical punch one. So we'll open up this one and pour it in. Chunky. So very chunky. It does not tell you to press it in. So this is just something I'm doing. It says just pour it in, but it's pouring in does not work. So messy. I wish it just poured in so easily. If it all melted perfectly, I think it would work out. It would probably go to the bottom beautifully, but I have to like stab it in here and it's like already a lip balm. Let me mix up some more and we'll pour it into some of the other lip gloss. I'm just gonna see what happens without the wax chips. I'm just not gonna use it. Add our color in. And with this one, we're gonna add just a teeny bit of some lip shimmer. Should make a really shimmery one. Whoop, put it in water and mix. Ooh, there we go. See, look how liquidy. We'll add this one to our So Berry Happy and just pour it in. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at how nice and easy that poured. I just gotta make some more now. Oh, I wonder if I can mix flavors. So let's add a tiny bit of purple to this. Do two purple with some pink. And now we'll mix it up. It's kind of a, it kind of still stays purple. It's just not as dark. And we will layer that in. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, so much easier. I wonder if the wax chips are just used as a filler. Doesn't look like it's going in very smoothly though. Now we need to use this tropical fruit yellow color. So we'll add some drops in. This one I will add the wax to. Do, 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 do. Stir and melt. Mix, mix, mix. Look at how much it like evaporates up. So let's finish this one. And push it in. There we go. Ooh, that yellow color is beautiful. It's like you can't even tell. I wish these were see-through so then you could tell just how deep and how far down you still need to go. Let's create a shimmery yellow. Add our flavoring and shimmer. And stir it up. Let's work on this one. Ooh. Chunky. Ew, it's so chunky. Actually, that one kind of went in pretty well. That one wasn't too bad. Ooh, let's create orange by mixing pink in here. Maybe just a drop or two. Ooh, that's pretty already. Look at how pretty that is. Let's add that to here. So now it will go yellow to orange. Ooh, it doesn't want to pour. Get in there. In. There we go, that's, that's looking a little bit better. Let's top it off with a little bit of some purple and mix. Maybe one more drop. Purple's a little bit too light, so we'll just kind of darken it up. All right, a little bit of purple right on the top of this one. Kind of smooth it out. Look at, this one's actually kind of working out. Kind of make it smooth right on the top. Kind of clean around the edges. All right, our lip pucker punch is done. Which other ones? Okay, we still need to work on this one. This one is done. This one's almost done. And this one, ah, we haven't even gotten started on that one. Oh no, and I'm running out of base. Oh no, I probably won't have enough to fill it. We'll mix up a little bit more purple. Do, 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 do. Mix, 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 mix. Pour on in. A little bit of purple on the top. Whoop, this looks kind of good. I don't think I did too bad with this one. Maybe we'll just clean up the edges a little bit. All right, the fantastic fruit one is done. I am really running low on base though. Mix up some more purple. Let's open up this one. Ah, my hands are so slippery. So much lip balm. And we'll pour this one in this brand new one. This totally, totally tropical. Woo! Go on in and push it in. Oh, this is it. This is the very last of the base. No. Just add it in. Try to scrape out every last bit from the container. Let's do some more yellow. Ooh. All right, let's add it in. Ooh, this one's extra chunky. Look at all that wax. All right, there we go. So that one is now filled. Not completely, totally to the top. Oh, 
put the cap on this one. Ooh, forgot to wipe it down. And now I'm gonna let these dry for two hours. All right, so the lip balm had been sitting for over two hours now. It's been more like four or five hours. So let's check on them and see how these turned out, you guys. Start with this purple one. So it says, so, so super sweet, XOXO with this cute little grape. Open it up and there is our lip balm. That looks pretty much the same as whenever I made it. So let's give it a twist at the bottom. Mm, it goes on my lips really, really smooth. I can kind of smell the grape flavor. Oh, there we, yep. I can taste it now. So that's actually kind of cool, but it looks like you won't be able to see the actual different flavors. Oh no, if I, oh no. See, if I chapstick it all the way up, then I can't get it to go back down. It will not go back down. So we won't be able to see the rainbow of colors, but that one actually turned out. Let's check out this one, the totally, totally tropical with the cool bananas. Oh, rah, rah. so that one again, it does look the same, but let's twist this one. Oh, it's coming up, it's moving. Let's see, it doesn't look quite all that right. Let me put it on my lips. Lip balm is super duper smooth again, but this one is a little bit, a little bit too soft. And it's very, very, very just clumpy the way it's in there. Let's check out this fantastic fruit, little kiwi fruit. And that one looks pretty good with the purple. Mm, that one feels really good on my lips too. That one's really cool. Maybe the purple just really turned out. See, if these were see-through, then we could really see all those different colors that I layered in there. Let's try out the orange lip pucker punch. Little kisses orange. This one also has a little purple top, so we'll just kind of move it up and try it out. This one is a little bit too soft too. Kind of falling apart a little bit, but extra, extra lip balmy. And then we'll try this one. Now, this is the one that I was not able to finish and I did not use the wax chips on this one, the So Very Happy one. Yep, and that kind of looks the same like whenever I had poured it earlier. Let's twist it and have it kind of come up. See it kind of twisting in there. Is it coming up? I think it's kind of making its way up. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. You can kind of see it twisting up. Oh, there we go. So there's the lip gloss right there. It's only halfway there on the lip. Mm, that one smells really strawberry and very nice. But of course, it's really hard to use this lip balm because it did not flow all the way to the bottom. But I would say that you could make them without the wax chips. I, I think the wax chips, again, was just kind of a filler. This seems like a nice lip gloss to me too. So you could possibly make it either way. Whoa, so there we go. Those are the created lip balms. So did it work? Kinda did, but it kinda was a fail as well. Was it super messy? Yes. Was it fun? Yes. Are the containers absolutely adorable? Yes, look at these. They're just too, too, too cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, checking out all of this DIY lip gloss. Have the absolutely most amazing day ever, and I will see you guys on over at my next video. Bye, cookie fans. Hello, cookie fans. You're at the end of the video. Do you remember which one of these flavors was mixed in first? Was it the strawberry, the tropical punch, or the very berry? Stay awesome, cookie fans.